The audit from the Office of Public Accountability questions more than $63 million in spending by the Department of Public Health's Medically Indigent Program, which is known as MIP. The Indigent Program spent $67.3 million between 2005 and 2009. The auditors conclude there is no reasonable assurance that that money entirely benefited eligible recipients. But the administrators of the program have disagreed with the findings. Linda Sosuiko, Chief of the Human Services Division for Public Welfare, says that their office is not funded by GovGuam to do all of the administrative reports that the auditors think they should be doing. Because of the um, revenue and, and how the government runs, they're needing to make cuts, and so administrative costs for MIP is always cut. The audit specifically questions the eligibility standards, concluding that the MIP program has not established a system of quality review to assure that those people who are getting money for medical care are qualified to receive it. Tess Archangel, who has financial oversight responsibility for the MIP program, says they do check to be sure that all clients are eligible to receive funding but they must rely on documents provided by those clients. It's based on the documentations that we do receive from the client and they do sign, you know, that those information that they gave to us is the truth. Correct. Yeah. So we base it on their honesty and based on the documents they, did, they do provide to us. Elsa Perez, who directs the Economic Security Bureau with oversight for eligibility, says it again gets back to the issue of funding. We are really so strapped that sometimes um, reviews are, are minimal. And in order for us to really um, you know, um, continue with that and to uh, expand on it, we, we would need uh, more funding uh, to assist in the administrative costs. It's like a funded, the funding for the program is only to issue benefits, that's it. No, it's for the benefits. It's for, for the, payment for yeah, the benefits. Yeah, for the payment for benefits. But yeah. not for the administrative cost mm -hmm. to provide those services or, the, or provide uh, eligibility um, services for, for the client. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.